Rachel, owner and artist at Stella Rose Boutique here in Greenville, Tennessee. Welcome back to my channel. This video and project has been inspired by Brianna from Upcycled by Brie. I'm gonna leave a link below to the video that inspired me to make my own spindle ornaments. So come with me while I put my own twist on Brie's idea. I picked up these chairs from a local girlfriend's garage sale this past fall with the intent to upcycle them in the near future. And that future is now. I used my DeWalt jigsaw to cut them apart, which made it easier to store the cut pieces until I was ready to use them. This makes the spindle hoarder in me so happy. When I start working with my power tools, I make sure that I follow all the manufacturer's recommended safety procedures to keep myself and anyone around me safe. When I use my compound miter saw and I'm making cuts, I make sure that my blade is done spinning before I lift it back up to prevent any accidents that might happen. I then took everything that I cut over to my belt sander and rounded off all the edges. And then I got out my DIY paint in beadboard, apothecary, and gravel road, along with my R14 Klingon brush, which is perfect for getting in all of the small crevices on these spindles. I then took out my 220 grit sandpaper and I just dressed them. Next, I got them ready for the eye hooks to go in. You'll see me take my drill and I measured up just with the bottom of the eye hook to where I put the tape. So I knew when I go to drill in here that I stop where the tape hits the wood so I don't over drill the holes for the eye hooks to go into. See here, now you have the perfect pre-drilled hole every time. All done, and now it's time for waxing. So I scoop out some of my DIY clear wax into a separate container so I don't contaminate the unused portion. And notice I've got a JRV one inch stencil brush. I'm using this because it's easier for the wax to get into the smaller nooks and crannies when you're using a smaller brush. I then take my DIY white decrepit dust and I sprinkle that into the cracks and the crevices. And then I take my chip brush and I blend it out for a soft vintage feel. Then I do that to about half of them. And then I switch it up and I take the other half and I use the dark decrepit dust and I do the same thing and I blend that out. final touch, I get my DIY Golden Rule Gilding Wax and I hit my high spots. All the paint and products used in this video, including these adorable wooden spindle icicle ornaments we just made, are available in my shop and online at StellaRoseBoutique.com. And if you like content like this and thrift flips, how-to tutorials, and just in general everyday upcycling your life and home on a budget, then please hit that subscribe button, click that like button, swing back around and mash that notifications bell so you won't miss another video. And I can say welcome to the Stella Rose family and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.